This tutorial covers the MarsBar Toolbox, which is a program that interfaces with SPM to create regions of interest, or ROIs, which are small clusters of voxels that you wish to focus on for a particular analysis. So assuming that you already have MarsBar installed, from the SPM5 graphical user interface, click on the Toolbox drop-down menu and select MarsBar. Now we're going to focus only on this ROI definition drop-down menu right here for creating regions of interest. So within this, first of all, let's click on Build, which just creates an ROI from scratch. So here you can see that we have different types of ROIs that we can create. For example, we might just wish to focus on a particular voxel. We might want to create a sphere centered around a particular coordinate or create boxes also encompassing certain clusters of voxels. Here we're going to focus on one of the most popular types of regions of interest, <clears throat> which is the sphere. So go ahead and click that. Now the first argument that it wants is a triplet of coordinates in the x, y, and z directions for where this sphere should be centered. So in this case I'm going to say it's 0 in the x direction, 20 in the y direction, and let's say 30 in the z direction. Again, these are in M and I coordinates. Okay, go ahead and click OK, and for a sphere, let's say we only want a sphere of 5 millimeters for this ROI. Uh, the description is usually fine as the default, that's for header information, and for the label, let's say, let's call this ACC. Okay, so go ahead and click that, and now you can save out this .mat file into the appropriate directory. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, and once you've done that, it's good to first of all view what you've just output. So again from ROI definition in the Mars bar menu, click on view and load up this recently created acc.mat file and click done. So if you click on the SPM5 graphics window, you'll see in blue this is the sphere created by the Mars bar ROI program. So you can see the center is located at 0, 20, and 30 in MNI coordinates, and it's roughly located where I wanted it to be located. Lastly, you can go ahead and export this and make sure that it is converted to an image which has a nifty extension, which can then be used across other programs. So go ahead, click that, select this recently created ROI again, the .mat file, click done. For the space, usually the default of the base space for ROIs is fine. And for the directory to save the image, you can go ahead and click on this dot slash to specify save it to the current directory. Likewise, you can also navigate to other directories and save them in, in there as well. So go ahead, click done. Image file name, again, let's call this ACC. So it successfully output that, and now you have an ROI in both a .mat file and in a nifty file, which you can then use for further SPM analyses. So now, now that we've covered how to create ROIs from coordinates, in the next tutorial we'll talk about how to use MarsBar to create regions of interest from contrast you've done from other analyses.